Hi guys, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to show you the AICP, the Android Ice Cold Project 7.1.2 on Galaxy Mega and this is for all variants 5.8 and 6.3 so the links are distributed in the description so please uh, download the uh, proper links according to your device model number so let's review it now First step is to boot into recovery mode. So go here and push on restart and recovery. So now this will boot into recovery mode. And you are, uh, if I have not tell, told you that this volume button down is not working for me, and not on this ROM, it's overall not working on any of the ROMs. So it's the safe mode symbol and I cannot boot into like this recovery so if you don't have the soft reboot version just power off your device press this volume up home and power button at the same time to reboot into recovery so this is the i9-152 dual sim variant of the galaxy mega i will first uh, reduce the uh, brightness okay now you can see properly so now first of all you need to go to wipe and if you want you can uh, have your user data saved backup into your internal card i don't have a uh, micro sd just go to wipe that will be create system preload and data no need to wipe internal storage or sd card just uh, and screen problem is also there for me so okay good working uh, okay it's wiping Now go to install and uh, here is the AICP. If you want to use this as your daily ROM, uh, it has no bugs, only the screenshot bug. So my screen has some issues, uh, so that's why it's not being selected. Uh, wait until I select it. Okay, finally selected. And now I will reboot after completion. And if you want, you can uh, select GFs by adding more zips. So, oh shit. Now again thing just got it. So you can flash GFs by adding more zips and you can also flash super SU if you want root access. So I will just show you a quick look of it. Uh, so if I flash super SU and all that will slow down the installation process and reboot process too. So I will only install the ROM rooted uh, with super SU and you can root it with magic manager or uh, okay anything. And lineage OS SU add-on you can also try to uh, flash that here so this is the AICP you can see this is creator that is i9152 galaxy mega and also uh, j7 users i am also installing the uh, okay uh, I'm also installing the AICP on this too so after this and making a video on it so I will post this uh, videos on the same day so tomorrow morning okay today morning I have posted this so the evening will be on J7 and in the J7 video I will be doing a quick comparison between both not like a too much detailing just time pass I will compare it with this stable and I don't know what stable or not So this is uh, 5 May updated with no bugs on the screenshot bug and some mind bugs.
so our uh, i think process is going to end no 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 so in the meantime it gets okay here is unknown command log unknown command unknown command and so don't please uh, here is flashing super su so the super su will not be visible sometimes so you just need to flash another update like the 2.78 you can flash so that is a stable one so in the meantime uh, this is getting uh, installed for j7 users if anyone is uh, watching i'm here installing the aicp on the j7 too yeah rebooted system so just wanted to have a quick preview at it <laughs> so um, so the separate video will be made on all the details so this is just a small preview okay so reboot option is here and this is the boot logo a normal boot logo will be there you a normal the mega boot logo there are no boot logos for this device but i just really wanted to try out this is a great device but dead it's like 3 or 4 years old 2013 it was launched april uh like the galaxy s4 it has the texture and all but still a crash so let's see uh, it will boot loop first time so don't worry and now the ai cp for this is booting too and yeah the same old boot loop and yeah something different uh, is uh, someone said see the ai cp boot animations are different on the j7 the mega okay let's keep this j7 this is the mega video so let this rom boot up i will be giving you full review of the rom and no antidote because i don't have uh, I don't make Android two and and I you know all the safe mode problems so sorry no Android two and it's a very old device so I don't know if hundred people will watch or fifty people so let's this from boot up uh, so don't get confused by seeing this J seven just wanted to tell you this booted first and this lazy Galaxy Mega same one five one point five GB ROM with the older processor is still booting with no G F so. you can get to know if gfs uh, if you install the gfs then what will be the condition okay let this okay on direct camera this has booted up and great okay so uh, i don't have to switch the films okay now uh, so this is the uh, rom okay let try will decrease more brightness go into settings to check the uh, android version About phone, it's running seven point one point two. Android no good. So we get more extra things here. Build number and all we get. Super SU is be rooted, but it says settings open again. So you need to flash another Super SU like two point seven eight or some other version. Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth, hotspot, everything is working fine. Oh, I will show you all the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi stuff. So I will quickly connect to my Wi-Fi. So uh, you can see the Wi-Fi is connected to, and now a SIM card. So I have not input any SIM card. Data works. Uh, data works. I have been testing it. Uh, Tethering and portable uh, hotspot. You need to turn off. Okay, there is nothing to be uh, whatever. But still, it's active. It says AICP AP active. Uh, I will go down AICP extras. Uh, we get some extra customization for this device. Heads up notifications, status bar. You can have indicator status bar weather, battery, traffic indicators. And if you are a weather lover, you have the weather app pre-installed. That is the open weather map. Uh, you have those two things uh, installed. Custom header image you can set here. You can see it's a normal header. And set to a custom header nature. I will set it to uh, dynamic only. So you can have this headers here. Okay, back. And uh, okay, where is the custom header selector? Okay, I don't know. Okay, so this is the custom header. 
let's go back and quick settings we have some quick settings and here you can see the quick settings are in this uh, but you can get those normal one my uh, yeah, some configurations here you can configure here sorry about my screen touch so this problem is happening you can configure it here in the lock screen you can tweak the lock screen hide am pm just move it uh, icons from here there long press on touch with uh, recent span you can customize you can use some omni slim recent here are the animations you can have setting animations you can set any animation so you can just go and select the file then you have something here blur ui or oh, panel pawn you have the blur ui you can uh, blur the background when uh, you pull out the status bar down here like this but it's some blur you can adjust it panel pawn you have the panel settings then okay you have the system extensions like app side by app circle bar by touching the edge of the screen you can get these options you can uh, take this anywhere so uh, this is not responding okay good responding well it's hidden here i think it comes from here to know where it is okay gone so it's coming here too and okay here it is the settings again then uh, app launches system app remover if you don't want any system apps you can directly remove them from here and these are the removable system apps you get again go back and uh, go into various shit here where is the various shit thing uh, this screen touch problem here are some various uh, things you can try so let's go back again into the normal settings and here is navigation so you have a uh, annual navigation bar then you will get this uh, pixel style navigation but also ripple effect so to customize this i will show you go to smart bar settings here is button touch animation pixel pixel animation duration you can collapse background can uh, dot duration the vertical uh, and all you can uh, adjust by you double tap to sleep and button transparency dynamic navbar color so like if you go to phone app you can get this blue go to whatsapp you get this green and if you go to your messaging to your jello browser uh, you can get those things which is attached here so that is pretty great move and again going to settings you have the display mode yeah adaptive brightness it is working popularly fine live display you can set it to uh, night so you get a color if you don't see the camera you can uh, just directly go to your uh, and uh, okay go to your um, display settings and choose this and you can see the color change at night you can rotation settings night light night light is another like the same only and turn on automatically so you can set a custom schedule to you can set wallpaper, sleep, activity, time, ambient display also very awesome. Double tap to wake, all your settings here. Prevent accidental wake up. If you are carrying this on a device, uh, carrying this device in your pocket. So and if it accidentally wake up, it can open some apps. Cast, external, you can set your display size to normal or small or default. Small looks good. So I set it to small. Don't set it too big or the things will not be great columns you can add just your dashboard apps storage you get is uh, some of the storage is used by the uh, first system and also the ROM is only done storage so battery is 83 now battery life is uh, good you can expect a 5 hours screen on time or more and then gestures uh, here you have the hand wave and pocket so if you remove it from pocket it will and hand wave gives a custom click glance here see a quick glance of your notifications and all and your important life it will not go buttons you can uh, access your hardware buttons from here you can turn off the black backlight too here's the backlight just go back now and more more status options to customize them set the font size battery circle battery percentage security we get piracy privacy guard or privacy 
not piracy accessibility and all these settings develop options is about phone develop options has a Selenux switcher which will require root access so flash the uh, SU first and then uh, you can switch Selenux so uh, this was the review for the ROM and camera is also working fine although my camera quality will not be good because it's been uh, a bad camera always so I will put a J7 on video you can see the camera quality is disturbed okay if we, if I put this flash then the quality gets good that's great so this is the camera fully working so if you have a good device with a good camera then that's great uh, like good camera means camera in good condition so this was the uh, full review of this ROM working very full uh, uh, very awesome calls bills are very awesome and hotspot is also working so this was the review for the galaxy mega and here is the look of J7 both same same apps and you can set here uh, and now you can see here uh, all apps are same okay wait it all same content here see these uh, I think this is the uh, new browser which they called as Jelly Browser or something. Not Jelly Browser. Yes, Jelly Browser or something. I don't know what. So this is the same things and we get File Manager extra here. And uh, nothing extra in here now. Browser and ASAP extras are there. Music. Okay, the root is, routing is by Magic Manager in j7 so this was the review of the aicp rom on galaxy mega and on the j7 video which is which will be available in uh, evening i will show a qu uh, quick comparison with the galaxy mega which has the same 1.5 gb ram and 1.5 gb ram 16 gb so uh, stay tuned for that video and that will be a full review of it too so if you guys like this video press the like button show some support towards by pressing the like button if you don't press the like and comment will be in the feedback or oh, feedback will be in the comment section if you like my videos subscribe it for more awesome videos yes and now android o is coming and android preview is coming and something like android go is also releasing for low budget phones so if a low budget phone is available at 2017 ending 2018 beginning i will purchase that and give a full review of that to buy or not and what is it android go so bye guys and subscribe please bye bye